it's well known now that um, engagement in online environments is a very important goal. Uh, students that aren't engaged while they're learning online will tend to drop out. Um, most of the, from my knowledge, the massive open online courses that are out there have a completion rate of about less than 5%. So it, engagement is one way to increase that, to have students follow through. If I'm teaching face-to-face -face with students, there's an expectation that I will lecture and that they will take notes and from those notes they will study and from that studying they'll pass their exams. The problem with that model is that there's, there's such a dependence on the instructor and you can flip the classroom and do all those other kind of pedagogically wonderful things even if the names are stupid. You can do all of that. But the student is still focused on the instructor. While I'm not lecturing in an online course, I don't have that three hour chunk each week that I'm doing that, I can now use that time to interact with my learners. The other aspect is, is in terms of making sure uh, that your learners know that they can communicate with each other, with uh, the teaching assistants, if there are those uh, resources available. But a key part is make sure that your learners know that they can interact with each other. Provide them the mechanism, the tools, and the environment where they feel that they can share and ask questions from each other. Um, and so you're empowering your learners to help each other. Given that you're not seeing students face to face, you're not having the same kinds of interactions, you need to really design those things in. So I think developing the skills and abilities to engage students in an online format, so whether that's via online discussions or activities, et cetera, is really important. Um, thinking about how to give effective feedback, because again, in a face-to-face -face setting, you know, we have body language and visual cues and words that all, you know, help us to communicate to students how they're doing. In, a fi in an online course, we really only have, you know, some limited options there. So we can provide written feedback to them and, and engage them that way. We can provide audio feedback to them, which I really like in some settings, particularly when I'm saying, get on track. <laughs> and, uh, and I like to use um, ePortfolios in my classes as well, because again, I can um, provide comments to the students and engage them in meaningful learning that makes sense to them. So they get to make connections between what they're doing. So I think there's a whole variety of skills there that really have to do with how you engage the students and how you communicate expectations to them clearly and then provide feedback throughout, throughout the online course. To increase student engagement in online education in online communities and participating in, in these different fora, I've found that the thing that works best for me is to really work hard at tearing down the screen between me and the students. To make the students realize that I'm a real person too. And that they are real people to me as well. So there's a lot of legwork on my part that I try to get to know the students to a degree so that I can always be addressing them with something that is, is personal so that they are not the nameless, faceless mass. In the early going, I have to be engaging with them a lot. The first two or three or four, the first month of class, the engagement is almost nonstop. Um, so, I mean, anyone who thinks you can just load it up there and let it go and, and it'll run itself, I have found, uh, no. <laughs> you can get students out into groups. There's breakout room tools and you can task them to do various things. And they're on the internet. So tasking them to do stuff is great. You can ask them to go out to Medline and find evidence for, for, a, for a question you pose to them. You can ask them to go out and find a video or, or something that might support uh, a, a teaching topic that you are discussing and then they can bring back and present that to the rest of the class. They can take over the class and teach each other uh, all live uh, and online and those are f fantastic engagement uh, strategies. Asynchronously with you know, recorded, pre-recorded online uh, lectures. Uh, th that's where the, I think the design and production uh, values come in, uh, production techniques come in. So for instance, you might have uh, quizzes and questioning, you know, uh, spaced through your tutorial or your, or your lecture. You might have, you could have tasks where students have to go out and find some, some, uh, some piece of information and come back and answer a red question before they can, they can continue. So those are ways to engage and if you can provide discussion boards or you know, opportunities to chat, 
as close to live as possible, I think that really helps um, with courses. My role is not to go and gather this information. The information is already available online. So this means no sit down in the classroom and watch a movie together. It means uh, showing them the internet link for that movie, working out a note-taking sheet for them that then they could bring to class afterwards, after watching the movie. Uh, that means go and explore and critique uh, two existing websites, for instance, and come back to the classroom with your notes and we will discuss it in the classroom. It means for me uh, as the teacher um, to make sense of the information, uh, so to draw concepts, um, to um, focus on the overarching themes, but not on the actual pieces of information they can access to uh, online. It means um, no, uh, for instance, uh, classroom trip to the library, but an activity designed to help them uh, use better the online library. Uh, it means um, not necessarily an, a debate in the classroom where shy people won't speak and um, a, a young mother with a child can't come on, on that day and miss the whole discussion. It's having this uh, unsynchronic discussion online, for instance, uh, that could be extremely rigorous uh, following a very clear rubric um, that would permit even uh, students that could not be in the classroom uh, to have um, sophisticated discussion. Uh, so there are many, many ways one could think of um, blended teaching and take the, the most um, important or the, the, the most um, um, valid um, aspects of teaching uh, in, in both words and bring them uh, to the classroom.